Welcome to Real Issues Podcast. I'm your host, Martel Llewellyn. Some Miami Heat news for you guys today. Caleb Martin said yesterday at the Miami Heat Summer League, he said that he wanted to play the power forward position now that P.J. Tucker is gone. And I do like that he's trying to step up as a player. I know that he got his $30 million contract, so he does want to prove his worth. He does want to earn his money. I do like that a lot. However, I don't think he's a guy that can last 82 games during the regular season at power forward. I think Caleb Martin's a great player. I think he's a slasher. He's a good defender. He can push the pace. He's great in transition. He's very athletic. So I do like all those different things about Caleb Martin. Also too, he's a solid three-point shooter too. He didn't really shoot too well during the playoffs, but during the regular season, he definitely helped the Miami Heat, especially when uh, Jimmy Butler was out with multiple injuries. So I do like Caleb Martin overall. He averaged 9.2 points. He shot 50.7% from the field, 3.8 rebounds, and 1.1 assists last season with the Miami Heat. So I think he's a solid player. However, I don't think he can last in that power forward position for multiple games. I don't think he's strong enough to maintain that through 82 games throughout the season. Let me know what you guys think. I think that the Miami Heat need a bigger player to play next to Bam, someone like Miles Turner, You know, somebody that can maintain that size and bang down low with bigs. Don't get me wrong. That small ball four can last, but he's not as big. He he doesn't have that size compared to what P.J. Tucker had. But overall, I think he's a solid player. Can he play those those small ball four minutes? Yes. Every now and then. But to go into the regular season as having Caleb Martin at the power forward, I don't think is a good move for the Miami. Let me know what you guys think. Do you think Caleb Martin can maintain playing at that power four for 82 games. I know he had a lot of nagging injuries throughout the season. That's another thing. So I don't know if he'll be able to maintain that throughout the whole season. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Also, too, thank you for all the support on the channel. I'm really trying to grow the channel as we continue to push to 200 subscribers.